it's all, it's all ashy. We're gonna get ashes on our asses. Ashes on our tushies. <laughs> oh, I got this in my pocket. <laughs> it's a it's little chilly. on the little on the nipply side. It's chewy. <laughs> Did I say nipply? <laughs> oh, I love it though. I love it. Oh, good morning. Hey, morning. Good morning. Cheers. 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 Oh my gosh, it's 42 here this morning. Tonight, 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 it's supposed to be 33. Woo -woo. Tom thinks I'm putting on the flannel sheets. No. <laughs> because it's going to be 90 in a couple of days. So. Yeah, it's going to be only supposed to be 79 today yeah, here not, for not a high. Not 90 at night. <clears throat> but. 79 for the high, but in two days it's going to be like 93, 94. <laughs> That'll probably be as warm as it gets where we are, because we're up at what, 6,000 feet here, where we're camp hosting. Yeah, that's why we're dressed, because right after we do this, we, we have to go, go make do our, our rounds. rounds. <laughs> so it's like, okay, let's get up and get it going. Yep. Get some hot coffee in me. Yes. Oh, so, man. So. The week went by he split. Man, it's Saturday again already. And go ahead, say it. It kind of went by the same speed as it always goes by. You know, oh. and <clears throat> there's 60 seconds in every minute. They go one second at a time. There's 60 minutes in one hour. They go one minute at a time. They don't go faster. They don't go slower. Sometimes it feels Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sunday, after we talked to you guys on on Saturday, not really much. We just did our normal rounds, and yeah. I think I probably got a little bit of work done. Yeah. And um, we uh, we were just way excited because Monday, our friends. Christine and Angie and Cody and Dixie, their puppy doggy, they came all came to, to see us. us. We were so excited to see them. We met them in April yep. at the RV Dreams rally in Perump, Nevada. Perump, the RV Dreams, and we just fell in love with these people. They are super duper nice, and we just hit it off. We hung with them. We sat with them at the same table for all of our seminars and all that, and we just. They were parked like next to us, yeah. and um, and we just enjoyed it. And so we've kept in close contact throughout the past few months. And they were staying in South Tahoe, and they drove up, and we had a wonderful visit mm -hmm. all day. They're incredible folks. They're just wonderful, wonderful people. They're just they're awesome. So, we just love them. Yeah, we just love them so much. And so much fun. And then uh, we went to lunch. Yep. We were supposed to go to pizza and couldn't figure out the seating at this outdoor we pizza to take place. Disney, Dixie with us. Their puppy and, dog. You know, a lot of places have sit outside, and Christine had even called ahead of time. And they said, Oh, sure, you can have her outside on the patio. Well, we get there, and there's not really a patio, there was <laughs> a little fence, and you could stand at it. To eat your pizza. To eat your pizza. So, so we moved down three or four doors mm -hmm. to what's it called? Wagon, wagon train restaurant. Wagon train or West, restaurant. Or coffee shop or something. Coffee like shop that, in Truckee, California. And it's an incredible little place. It was great. We it's were like, able to sit outside. It's like they an old time museum inside. There's of course there's a train, <laughs> but there's just so well, it's much a wagon train. stuff. Oh, well there's a real train. They had a real train on tracks and stuff. Mm. But there was so much to look at. I didn't so see that. much, like an old museum, just old Tahoe and trucky <coughs> pictures. And, yeah, it was nice. Oh my goodness. Good food. <clears throat> yeah, food was good really food. good. <laughs> yeah, and they have like an all-you-can-eat salad bar, along with you know whatever lunch you get. Yeah. Oh, there's a baby cottontail. He just went over there. Hmm? He's a little baby cottontail. Stew. No. Oh. <laughs> no. Ah, <laughs> uh, we still have. Oh, I have that it's smoky here, listed twice on our little 
It's because Outline you've got board. smoke and then you've got really smoky. Yeah. But it is really smoky here. We had a day and a half where the smoke from the Yosemite fire and the fire, that devastating, horrible fire in Northern California in the Redding area, it's filtering into this area of California and in Western Nevada. Yeah, and there's fires in Nevada too. And, and they put out <laughs> air quality alerts <clears throat> almost twice a day because it's so thick. And this morning you can see it off in the distance. It looks and like it's going to be a... there's ash on yeah. our stuff. I haven't seen that yet when we've gotten up. There's ash over everything. Mm -hmm. So, yep. oof, hopefully they'll be able to get control of them soon. You know, a fire, a wild land fire is never fully out until the very first snowfall because that's the only thing that will completely smother it. So, and it's only August. So... They yeah. think these things are going to burn for quite some time. <clears throat> and then, you know, it's always so windy, and so the least little spark just starts up again. Yeah, and it doesn't, there's no wind this morning. It's very, it's very calm, but we are actually under a, a uh, lake wind advisory for South Lake Tahoe, Tahoe. a fire weather, or yeah, for Tahoe a fire weather warning and uh, the air quality alert today here so it's just ugh. lovely but yeah. hey we still love it it's nice it's a great place to be yeah. outside of the air the I smoke know. right now it's so sad you know and it's beautiful areas that are being all burned up too so mm -hmm. it really really is crappy because the fire that's up by redding is you know all around shasta lake and, and they figured out how that started yes it was a flat tire on a trailer and the spark from the rim ignited the fire. Unreal. Yeah. You know, what are you gonna do on something like that? You know, it's just, it's yeah. stuff happens. It does, it does. So uh, after a wonderful day with um, Christine and Angie and Cody and Dixie, we- uh, I need we some went. of those hand warmers that we take when we go, when we go deer hunting. No, we don't do that. Oh. Okay, when I used to go deer hunting. They had them then? Yeah, it was called Sticks and Rocks, and you started your own <laughs> fire, you little... <laughs> <laughs> so Tuesday, we went back to Reno to go get the Kia. Remember us telling you that we went to go pick it up from Mom's house, and the tires were all bad on it. So we went back and we took it to the Walmart. Went to the Walmart for tires. And got, got four tires on the Kia and we did our grocery shopping. But uh, we hung out at Mom's for just a little bit and mm -hmm. helped Aunt Muriel with her computer again. Yep. And yep. we visited for a little bit. And um, when we took the car in to, in to get the tires, they told us that, you know, it was going to be three or four hours. And we're like, oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't. But um, we ended up going, we looked around Walmart for a couple of things yeah. that wasn't food. And then we went to lunch at Steak and Shake. You wanted Steak and Shake. Yeah. He had his burger and a milkshake. Hey, I just called it my free day. It's once in a great while he gets to have something <laughs> like that. Oh my and God, guess the what milk, I had? The milkshake. Steak and Shake. I had all you can eat pancakes. The milkshake was incredible. She eats pancakes. I'm not a burger and fries milkshake person. <laughs> and I just they had all you need all you can eat for four ninety nine. All I could eat was just the first plateful, but hey, it was still not that bad, you know, four ninety nine. Hey, I grew up with Steak and Shake when it was a real Steak and Shake. <clears throat> In the late fifties and early sixties, as a little bitty kid I remember my uncle taking me to Steak and Shake in his convertible little hot rod that he had and we'd back into the spot and the car hops would come out on their roller skates he'd have the the am radio blaring he sorry about elbowed that sorry <laughs> i'm thinking about old times <laughs> when we when we were in uh, st louis missouri visiting his family his uncle butchie wanted to go to steak and shake and we went there and he had spaghetti Chili Mac. They call it Chili Mac on the menu, but it's spaghetti. It was spaghetti. I'm like, Butchie's having spaghetti and a burger joint? 
at a great burger joint. <laughs> hey, this is Italian. He wants his spaghetti. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> so we got that done. We got our grocery shopping done. And we're heading back up to, um, to Truckee. We got two two trucks. We got the big oh, truck, right. the diesel truck. Okay, we got Ito that uh, I'm driving. She's driving her Kia with the new tires on it. And we got groceries in both vehicles. Mm -hmm. But and cooler because it's, you know, 45 <clears throat> minutes away basically from like where uh, mom is and where the Walmart that we went to. And um, so we're coming up the highway and you know those reader boards that they have up on the highways telling you, you know, about either road conditions, weather conditions, amber alerts, whatever. This one says, I-80 closed ahead due to crash. Ahead five miles or something uh, like that. We're like, great. What are we going to do? <clears throat> so I saw that. I immediately flipped on to one of the radio stations that <clears throat> I actually used to uh, be the operations manager of, news talk station in the Reno area. So I tune them in, you know, and they've got this syndic syndicated national crap on. And I'm like, give me some local information. And after after a few minutes of flipping around, I ran across a traffic report, and they said, shut down. Interstate 80 westbound, completely shut down. Big rig rollover. It's got both lanes westbound. You can't get through. Great. The only way to get through to where we are at Truckee was to go back into Reno, go south out of Reno, all the way to the Mount Rose Highway, go up the Mount Rose Highway, which takes you to around to Tahoe, around the north shore of Tahoe, and then come back. It's like a two-hour drive for a forty-five-minute jaunt. Yeah, so we pulled over and uh, over at the Bo at Boomtown. Boomtown and Cabela's. Was the it was the next exit yeah. that we had that we could pull off. And so we pull into the parking lot, and I'm like, what are we going to do? <laughs> we got all this food. Got, what are we going to do? This food in here. Kaylee's, at least we won't go hungry. Kaylee's at home. <laughs> and so what I did was I got on the phone and I called our ranger. And he was still here and um, asked him if he would come over and top off her food and water. Because as long as she had that, she'd be fine. She would be really angry with us when we got home because, oh well. you know, because her box would be yeah. not pristine mm -hmm. like she prefers it. So... Um, our uh, ranger comes over here and thankfully, and this is one of the reasons why we love this RV lock, and this is not a paid endorsement. No, it's not. We, we just, bought it ourselves. Yeah, we bought ourselves, we've had it for years, and we love it. We have the key code on it. And so I just gave him the code to get in, he got in, he topped off her water, dumped the rest of her food that was in her canister, because that was on the grocery list, yeah. on a, <clears throat> on a, her plate on yeah. the floor. and. Um, and so she was good to go, and I felt a lot better in case we couldn't get through. Because you never know. There's accidents up on the other highways, too. Yeah. We the other might ones, not have. The other one's just a two-lane highway. It's not an interstate, so and if anything could have happened. traffic was routed there, it would have been, you know, yeah. it probably would have been easier just to spend the night at Mom's or In the RJ's truck at Boomtown. In the truck at Boomtown. <clears throat> the first time we slept in the truck. Like I said, but, we had all the food we needed. Yeah, yeah we would have had to buy ice. <laughs> But, um, so as soon as I got done talking to the ranger and he came in and did everything, Tom says, oh, they just, it opened. They just the opened, it opened it up. You know, I'm looking on my phone and listening to the radio and it's like, oh, they just got the, uh, the big rig pulled to the side of the road and they're letting traffic through. Yep. So we hopped back on the freeway and we never saw traffic till we got to the bug station. Right. Yeah. You know what a bug station is? That's what we always called we it. We call it the up bug station. Because it's the California um, Agricultural Inspection Station where they check all your. <laughs> Kaylee's watching us up on <laughs> Watch where they check, you know, your fruits and vegetables and plants and stuff if you're coming in from another state. Yeah. But anyway, we that was the only thing that really was backed up with traffic. And we Ever, saw the big rig on its side. Yeah. They it was, had shoved it off the, off the side of the road. Yeah. And um, it okay. looks to me, I mean, I don't know. Maybe Perfect there, weather conditions, so. Maybe knows? there was a blowout, you don't know. That's true. But that it looks happen. to me like first impression too truck fast. was going too fast downhill on a curve and just flipped. So. 
you know. Yeah. Yep, but it happens. But that was, um, you know, at first my, my thought was I panicked because of Kaylee. It's like, ah, oh, what are we going to do? Thankfully, it's a kitty. And she can be fine yeah. with just plenty of food and water. And the driver of the big rig was not injured at all. Oh, so yeah. So everybody yeah. was safe in that. It just messed up traffic for, for up several, traffic. several hours. Because I know when, <clears throat> um, when we saw the reader sign and I looked up the highway, <clears throat> or actually when we pulled off at Boomtown, traffic was backed up to there all the way. To, yeah. And it was past the state line where... Um, that's the another, accident was. That's another four, four and a half, five miles, mm -hmm. I think, something like that, that it was just at a dead standstill. Yep. So, but hey, we got through, we got home, and everything's fine. Yep. I called Greg as soon as we got back, the, the, our ranger, said, well, we're home. I said, thanks for taking care of Kaylee. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's just really comforting to have that, um, the combination lock so that if something happens like that, and we've mentioned it before, that we would call, you know, the campground or a neighbor to be able to go in. And we um, liked it when, uh, when we had Daisy, too, mm -hmm. if we were going to be gone. And we did that with our friend Eggy um, when we went yeah. off to uh, Quartzsite and we had been yeah. in the Palm Springs area. It's a couple hour drive. So the RV lock is incredible, you know, and again, it's. Yeah not endorsing or anything like that. We went out and got it ourselves. I read about it, saw some reviews on it. We installed it and it's just been a great piece of RV equipment that we love, yep. you know, so. Yep, we do. We love the key fob. Yeah. <laughs> it makes it nice when your hands are full and all you got to do is, you can push the button from your truck, you know, yeah. and then have it unlocked when you get there, you don't have to fumble with the key. There is a key, yeah. but you have three ways. You have the key, you have the key fob, and then you have the key, key pad, pad where you can just with the, your code number. Put the code mm -hmm. number. And I don't even, I can't remember the code number, so I'm pretty much out of luck if I don't have the key fob or the key with me, okay. or if somebody, if she's not inside. Which sometimes she pretends she's not inside, and I'm like, okay, I'm locked out happen more than once. I threaten it, but I don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Goofball. So, uh, what are you uh, looking at? Huh? What are you looking at? I know. I was looking to see. It looks like there's ashes on the top of your hat. Yeah. So we have company today. Yes. Actually, they came in last night. My sister and her husband, my sister Wendy and yeah. her husband. She's the sister that I do the bookkeeping for. They just have a, they've got a, a new to them fifth wheel. It's a nice one. It's pretty nice. It's a toy hauler. Mm -hmm. And it's got a little garage attached to their little house. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Kind of sweet. Love it. They have a um, sand rail, right? Yes, yeah, I they, think that's yeah, what it is. What is. Sand rail. So they've got that, and the, um, right now they just brought their little scooter little with scooter. them. Little scooter. And their little dog. They have a little papillon. Danny. His name is Danny. <laughs> and he rides up on top of the gas tank. You know, obviously not on He's the... He's got his front paws mm -hmm. up like this on the on the handlebars, basically, and sits back on the gas tank, and he's yeah. ready to go. He jumps right on up there and sits there, and he rides right there. And they took him for a little ride around the campground. It was kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> He's just so funny. But um, they're here visiting. And then um, my sister Judy and her husband Kurt are coming up just for the day. Yep, they're going to come spend the day today. And we're just going to do a yep. big old barbecue out here. And Yeah, and the lovely smoke. Add to the air quality. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully it's all propane grilling, so it won't yeah. be bad won't be bad but yeah. we'll have some fun with all all the family today it'll be a lot of fun yeah my brother and sister-in-law couldn't come because their son is home on leave for from the army with his wife so they're visiting so they're not going to come up today <clears throat> and mom likes to come up when she can have us all to herself yes she likes to do her visiting that way yeah and uh jolene and the kids everybody's busy yeah so Football. The oh. kids have started football. Yeah, I don't think they have games yet. And practice got canceled yesterday because of the, the air quality. The air was so bad in the Reno area, they canceled football practice for the kids. Yeah, we think it's bad up here. It's even worse in yeah. Reno because it's a valley and it just Way down low gets in the valley. sucked in there. It's just 
just terrible. <clears throat> um, things been going good here with the camp hosting. Yeah, so far we, so good. We, we liked, actually had dinner with one of the guests. He's we, we, a uh, we like this gig. Yeah, he's a fisherman here yeah. on uh, Tahoe. He does gu um, guided tours yeah. and or takes people in fishing guide, whatever. I get to go with him on Thursday, so I think what I'm going to do too, now that I'm thinking about it, I'll take a camera with me and yeah, have cool. some fun. I get to go out on the boat with him Thursday morning. Yeah, he's taking it out on Wednesday to take it out of the water to get some maintenance done on it and then putting it back in on Thursday, and he invited Tom to go. Yeah. And uh, he invited both of us, but I'm not a... A water person or a boat person and um, one of us really does need to be here because that is yeah. one of our days on yeah so um, so I'll go play on the lake go play on the lake <laughs> <laughs> um, but and, yeah. and we're still I'm still putting together some videos of this immediate area and of the campground and things like that so we'll show you and then we're also going to show you when we make our rounds what we actually do how we do it here and uh, we'll put that up you know, we don't don't make a commitment because we're just not sure how things are going to go. Okay. It'll be up there when it's. Up It'll be up there when we put that up on Tuesday. It'll be Trucky Tahoe Campground Tuesday. <laughs> He's It'll be, in charge of that, so. It'll be up there when it gets up there. <laughs> He's in charge of that. Just make sure you click that little bell, and that way you'll get notified when a new video does go up. Ding ding ding, 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 is that it? <laughs> I guess so. We really didn't have a whole big, exciting week. I mean, we did because we got to visit with yeah. our friends and we went and saw mom and got tires on the Kia and, you know, all that. But the rest of the week, those were yeah. our two days off, Mondays and Tuesdays. And um, the rest of the week, we just, it's kind of nice here because we'll go and do our rounds um, several times a day, but it doesn't take that long. No. It's a small park. It's only 25 sites, which is so nice compared to what we did last year. So, yeah. which this we won't is, talk about. This is but, a piece um, of cake. You knock know, on wood. Takes right. us a few minutes in so. the morning to do rounds, a few minutes in the midday to do rounds. Sometimes we do rounds late in the evening. Again, a f you know, 15, 20 minutes each time, mm -hmm. and the, the rest. Ones that take longer are the ones like around 10, the 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock one, because after people have left, and we go to the site and we rake it and we clean out fire pits and we <coughs> clean out the barbecues and we clean out mm -hmm. the bear lockers and. You'll see all that on the video when it gets posted on. Whenever, whenever. it gets posted. <laughs> on whenever Tuesday. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> so, is that it? I think so, hun. Are you going to feed me before we go out on rounds and you have to do all that cleaning? No. No, I'm not. Somebody want to make him breakfast? He's very bossy, isn't he? Very bossy. I'm hungry, woman. <laughs> yeah, that's going to get me a lot for breakfast. <laughs> Here's a box of cereal. Shut the up. <laughs> See ya! See ya.